Hello? Hello? Oh, hello. I had the, uh, my volume turned down. Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, how you doing? We are just, um, finishing up a long rest. We did a, uh, put the cap on a, a fairly interesting, uh, side quest yesterday, uh, which was, uh, we fought a hag and I accidentally got the, you know, someone killed. I mean, you know, par for the course. It's D&D. &D. These things happen. Consequences are real. Um, so we're just gonna, you know, kind of carry on and live with the weight of that cowboy. Well, let's, um, let's, I guess, be done with the camp. We're gonna do some more exploration. So, have we buried the hatchet, Lazel? No. Why would I bury a weapon? Is it broken? Ha! Uh. It's a metaphor. I do not know your metaphor, but if you need help digging, I will find a shovel. Well, I mean, that's decent of her, honestly. Um, let's see. There's a little bit left to explore in the bog, although I don't think I there's much else that's going to bring joy here. It, it seems like a pretty desolate place. I guess I'll I'll check it out. I don't know. We're going to want to go east. Light on my feet. I I don't know. In terms of completionism, I I do like I'm going to do what's interesting to me. I'm going to explore what's interesting to me. I do want to like, you know, explore most of this game. Um, I do also want to leave things for future playthroughs. The way that Divinity worked, um, like this was my general experience, was that it was always worth exploring and um, there's a trap. You say trap? Uh, you kind of had to like, you had to find combats that were doable, you know, like you have to, especially in the early game. And I think that we are still early game. We're still in the first act of this game. And apparently, according to Larian, uh, that is just the tutorial. So we are technically still in the tutorial section, which is boggling to me. Um, ooh, look at all the good stuff. Um... Yeah, I mean, you, you kind of have to find the combats that are doable to you. Like, you know, oh, we, we went to the Underdark and found a Beholder. That's a big nope. We come back later. We leave then and there, and we come back much later. Barbed bush, huh? That's a weird thing that's happening there. Why are we getting apples? My finger. Okay. Poisoned apple. We have some poisoned apple. So, you know, um, especially when we've now encountered a, at least a second uh, combat that is not really doable for, me, for us. Someone wasn't as fortunate in their choice of campsite as us. No ordinary creature did this. I feel like there's something over there. Uh, now that we've encountered at least a second um, combat that I can't really do yet, maybe I could do, but I don't really want to, to have to do it just yet i don't think we can go over there then you know we may as well do some exploration visit some places we haven't been uh i wonder if these are poisoned pork traveler's guide to the sword coast inns and guest houses backpack 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 um what was that what did we succeed to see we succeeded in seeing something I could check all of these barbed bushes, but uh, that's probably not worthwhile of our time. So yeah, as I suspected, there's not much else in this bog, although I am... Oh, ouch! Ouchies! Uh, um, we're bleeding. That's gonna suck. Yeah, there it is. Uh, there's not much else going on here. We might as well just leave. Probably have to do a short rest. I Honestly, I'd prefer to just leave it creature has recently cut itself i wonder if that open wound is gonna cause us damage over time all right so we could go east a bit there's still quite a lot we haven't seen around this area um travel through underdark there's probably some more stuff we could do at the goblin camp although i don't really 
think I want to go back there. I don't know. Uh, someone was mentioning that there's more stuff to do there. But I, I, I feel content in the uh, conclusion we got from the goblin camp. I don't think there's much going on there. That's curious. Oh yeah, more more treasure. Doop, 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 doop. I love the way that the, the chest pops up. Wow, that's a lot of good stuff. Fleet fingers. Running jump once per turn after the wearer dashes or takes a similar action, they can jump without using a bonus action. That's kind of cool. I like that a lot. Gale is uh, going with two, through withdrawal. I don't really care to explore Gale's story, at least not in this playthrough. Um, wow, freaking Lazel has 20... 20 uh, stacks of, of... What is that? Rotting? Open wound is starting to rot. Disengage advantage on ability checks and saving throws using charisma. Wow, okay, that's uh, that's nasty. Is there anything over here? There was a couple of chests or uh, dirt piles that I should go back to uh, unbury. Collapse burrow, huh? We need to be able to, to become a, some, a small animal. In or oh, never mind. We can just explore that. Got some honeycomb. Finding some decent stuff. Okay, that's most of that. Like that, that's all that area explored. Let's go west now. We could just wage war with the uh, the goblin city. It's not like I I really like those them anyway. They're not no they're no, they're not really good people. To Tbh. I don't know. I I, I have an uh, you know a, a small affinity with goblins. I kind of I kind of like their their deal. You know. They're not good. They're not decent. They're they're immoral, unethical, evil. Um, but they're just little guys, you know. Excuse me. Uh oh, huh? Sharp-eyed snurd. Hello, my name is snurd. Um, are we in sight right now? No, we're not. So we could do... Can we reach this guy from here? Yes, we can. Let's go ahead and... I guess we're waging war with the goblin camp. I, I said I wasn't gonna, but I guess I am. We'll do a sneak attack on this lad. I was probably gonna kill him. Yeah, there we go. And, um, we'll do a dash. Another step around here, just so that we're... Actually, if we could get up to that top area... That would be amazing for our sneaky lad. Sneaky Tav, you know? Shadow Heart. Um, I'm wondering, can you put down like grease or anything? No, you can't. Okay, we might want to choose some new... New spells for her. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of what she's got right now. Let's just use Blade Ward for now. May as well. What is that? Claw. Oh, we've got like a giant warg. Carlac is. What's Carlac doing? Can we can we move? Okay, cool. Uh, I'm not gonna waste the rage on this. This that doesn't seem like it's it doesn't seem worthy to be honest. We'll do a last rate though. Nice. Um, could do something like a color spray per battle. Wow. I don't know if this also counts toward, I think it's only our enemy. Sure hope I don't blind Karlak by accident. We did color spray that, that lad. Cool. Cover me. I'll get the alarm. Oh no. Okay, I mean, that's fine. You go ahead and get the alarm. Honestly, I could stand to kill a couple go goblins. I did. I did say I don't like killing goblins, but you know, it is what it is. If they're going to make it difficult for me not to. Game. Oi. All right, Tav. 
Tav, you're gonna go up, climb this rock. If I could also climb up here, that would be ideal. We're just about out of movement, but I think this is going to work out well. Funny that they can see up here. Can I shoot them? Not enough movement. Yeah, we can shoot someone. We could definitely hit this guy. In fact, we, we have advantage already, so we don't have to sneak. What do you mean not enough movement? Good lord, I have a lot of problems with this, don't I? It's just like, it's just a lot. We're going to go ahead and dash in order to get enough movement. I know that's kind of ridiculous. It's because, um, I think it's because, like, there's, it's so that you can fine tune where you're standing. But we, as long as we have advantage on someone, we can sneak attack. There we go, they are dead. Shadow, uh, heart, we're just gonna do, we could do a flame 60%, but that is actually a 75%. Ignis lightning charges that gives us lightning charges, huh? I wonder why Missile snaring jolty vest when you the, the wear takes damage no uh, Why does she oh is it pro spell sparkler when the wielder deals damage with a spell or cantrip they gain two lightning charges That's why So that's actually quite powerful she no longer has a uh, blade ward. That's fine. Is this per short rest? Do we get back a superior door? Yeah, we get a superiority die, die back on a uh, short rest, but I really don't think it's even worth using that on this guy. Maiming strike. Let's do a maiming strike. 80% reckless attack. Nice. Maimed. Time to strike. Time to strike. Um, this is per short rest. Yeah, we could do we could do that. Let's do an action search Advantage nice we didn't get an animation there, but that's fine It's uh, I mean this is one thing that Larian really gets right is like once you've once you've found a few combats that you can do and you've grinded up a little bit and you, then you find like other combats that were meant for like early levels then um, they're, they're very like satisfyingly easy Okay, yeah, we do have new goblins joining the fray here We have 90% on that lad there uh, Why don't we why is target outside normal range pretty sure if I hide oh, I guess I can't hide because I'm within vision all right, let's just focus on what's right in front of us. We don't have advantage. We don't have advantage. We can't hide. What a bummer. Um. Hmm. What would give us advantage, do you think? Oh, I thought that the piercing strike was... I guess that's uh, with our dagger. I thought that that was something. Can we do a piercing shot? Yeah, we can. Let's do a piercing shot on one of these guys. Luck of the Far Realms. Nice. Um, This is per short rest as well, so why don't we go ahead and like teleport somewhere that will, you know, make things easier on us. They're initiated in combat, but they can't really do much about it. We'll go ahead and hide. My faith will protect me. Let's do another firebolt. I'm enjoying firebolt, especially if it generates lightning charges. Nice thing about that is we do a little bit of extra damage with our cantrip because of the lightning charges, and then we also generate more <laughs> lightning charges at one, uh, you know, in this, at the same time. So all of that's pretty fun. I like that a lot. All right. Tactical. Tactical. Fury. I am death. Um, Lazel is not doing not too good for health. True. This is per short rest. Let's do a second wind. <clears throat> we have more goblins. Ooh. 
Okay, they're no longer rotting. That's nice. Can we do a sneak attack? Yes, we can. Let's go ahead and do that. Splat. Um, Tav is really going to pop off as soon as he can do multiple attacks per turn. To keep fighting. On the move. Wonder... Oh, we can just barely hit this guy over here, maybe? Yeah, perfect. Big nice. Yeah, we're generating more lightning charges. We did kill that lad. Um, Karlak. I'm going to go ahead and just sit Karlak here. Can we do a ranged attack? Disadvantage. We'll move her forward ever so slightly. We'll do a ranged attack. 65% chance. I'll take it. Nice. Four damage. I'll take that too. Yeah, we'll just move Lazel forward a bit. Just so that they... I'm pretty sure they're going to have to waste... It their turn dashing oh never mind they had range i guess if i have range they have range too that makes sense ensnared yeah i i guess they shouldn't have moved forward but they could they had the movement to get within range it's not like you know so this guy's concentrating we're gonna want to uh, hit him first are we we're no longer hidden flesh rot oh uh, this uh this just kind of gets worse and worse huh must have advantage. Can we jump up there? Not enough space. Not enough space. I guess we can't get get go up there. Um. Okay. Um. Can we jump like over there? Path is interrupted. We can. It's sort of weird, but. Oops. And then go ahead. I think we're just barely out of vision there, so we'll go ahead and hide. And yeah, we can. And we'll go ahead and uh, attack this guy who's concentrating. Hopefully ruin his concentration. Well, we'll just kill him. And now they're no longer blessed. There is that. Got to press on. So we'll move forward. We'll do another firebolt. There we go. This is gonna feel good. In position. Um, we're gonna have to do ranged attacks with Karlak. That's fine. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Missing, you know, I don't expect to hit on a 65. Not anymore. I'll take it if I can get it, though. Armor of Agathis. All right, let's see what you got. Are you gonna come over? No, you're not. You're just gonna move slightly farther away. Not fall before my time. Okay, I think we can... No, we ha must have advantage, so we gotta hide. Sneak attack. There we go. Pop. Another one dead. I'll move back over. We're gonna do another jump. Back over here. Um, I can't really do anything else, but that's fine. I don't expect this, this guy to survive until Tav's next turn. Miss! Okay, I don't expect to a hit on a 65, but on a 70%, that's when it starts to get a little insulting. Wow, Lazil is almost dead. Okay, she almost died there. Eldritch Blast. We're fighting a Warlock Goblin, huh? Please tell me we can hit this guy. No, we can't. If we did a jump down there, how much would it cost us? We could jump down there and then just like walk up to him. Let's do a hide. And then we're going to do a genuine normal sneak attack. No range sneak attack. It's funny how sneak attack melee is actually worse damage considering we have like two enhanced weapons. At least that's what it claims, right? Like what's our, 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 our ranged weapon is just a normal light crossbow, five to 12 damage. And then we've got a seven to 13, two to five. Oh, you know what? That's why. It's cause this dagger plus one kind of sucks. We gotta, we gotta find something better for that dagger plus one. All right, well, that was kind of, that was pretty good. I enjoyed all of that. One day I'll catch a break. 
So I'm starting to understand why some people were, were uh, cooking up ideas for where to put camp supplies. Um, someone said that if you grab a backpack, or I guess you could grab anything like a, a chest or a barrel and put it at your campsite and then just put food in it, um, that all food will basically end up there if you send to camp, right? Um, I'm gonna try that right now and see how that, if that works. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this barrel here. And then we're gonna go to camp. And I'm gonna throw that uh, barrel down. And um, let's open the barrel. And we're gonna put camp supply. I think if I put camp supply sack there, I, you could just like, I guess, put the camp supply sack on the ground or something. Then um, anytime we get food, it'll just end up here. I should check to see what if I send back to camp. I, I kind of wish this part of the game was done a little bit better. Like, um, you know, when you have a lot of junk, like, what is all of this? This all seems like stuff we want to sell. Uh, I'm going to send this to Lazel. I'm going to send this to Lazel. Those are all, um, Bewildering adventure Adventures Pack. What is that? I've got a lot of stuff I need to get rid of. What is Bewildering Adventures Pack? Potion of Mind Reading. Haggis. Potion of Flying. I feel like these are things that I get for pre-ordering the game. Quotation marks. And then Peculiar Clothing. Cape of the Red Prince. I think these are, um, these are items that are referencing a character from Divinity and are also pre-order goods. I don't think I really want to mess with this stuff. It's fun. I'm, I'm glad it's in the game, but it's not really, you know, my cup of tea to, uh, be dabbling with stuff like that. Um, why don't we go ahead? First of all, let's, Wits and blades. I'm going to go through each of the, our, uh, yeah, camp supply packs. Go ahead and send to camp. Because it, it takes up a lot of weight to, to be op um, to be carrying all of this stuff, you know? I do wish there was like a shortcut key to just like send to camp. Also, like a Caves of Cud style, like treat these as send to camp would be nice so that I don't have to do basically any of this kind of management. It, uh, you know, you could, you could, uh, uh, definitely argue that I don't have to do this stuff, but it takes up room and, you know, eventually we run out of space. So patch together sack. What is this? What? Vipira's crown. When healing another, the wearer gains one to six health points. Yo, that is a really nice helm. What is... Yeah, I mean, smiting, we we don't tend to do a lot of smiting. I think that this would be amazing for Shadowheart. Looks goofy as hell, but... Uh, I'm okay with that. I'm definitely the kind of person that would optimize uh, my armor in order to uh, to, to, to do better. Let me see, is there anything else? Patch together sack. I didn't mean to do that. I really didn't mean to do that. Are these just like freebies? Add to wares. Add to wares. Just like. I mean, if you're bored by this, um, all of my my potential criticisms still stand. I wish this was a little bit easier. Maybe there's a way if I like hold down a button. No, shift isn't going to do it. Alt. Alt right click. Shift right click. No. Control right click. No. Okay. Middle click. Sometimes uh, 
trying things like that helps you you learn about a shortcut key that um you know makes things a little a little easier now carlac do you have any camp supplies yes you do oh look at all the stuff you've got send a camp send a camp send a camp right i i made carlac the official like food carrier i didn't mean to add to wares remove from wares send a camp my god oh god oh good lord look at all this stuff i'm gonna do a pause i'll be right back okay silly me there is an easier way i i didn't realize it if you just like shift click you can select like everything of something um and then you can send them all to camp so that that makes things a little bit easier i will admit all right um i'm actually let's do a short rest Better than i think that's good i don't think we need to do more than that we'll leave we'll we'll do some more exploring sorry about all of that uh, inventory management in the middle of our adventure um all right west what okay the map is i'm not in the orientation that made sense to me okay we're gonna go west and we're gonna go south a bit we're gonna explore a bit more of the map check some more empty boxes oh good um so yeah you can just like shift click the whole thing and then send a camp and I guess I didn't check to see if those were going in the right place. Can you do like control? Yeah, you can tr control click as well. That's kind of nice. So I'm hearing something over here. There's definitely some kind of horrible beastie. Potion of vitality. That's quite nice. It's, it's occurring to me I haven't even like reached the meat and potatoes of this game right. Oh, this is the mo mountain pass This is the mountain pass Well, we could um, They did say that we could go like underground Instead Like I don't have to go this way I could go instead Through Underdark Is that, you know, the better way to go? Oh, wait a minute This is an alternative path to mountain pass interesting we could check it out search for signs of a githyanki crush near the mountain pass in the northwest hmm well i kind of want to check out i don't know i'm i'm a little bit wary of uh like finishing being done with this area already i say already but i know it's been a while i know we've been we've been hanging out here for quite a bit uh, i do do want to visit the crash i don't want to like i'm not ready for that combat yet i kind of want to take another shot at the underdark i don't think we can beat that beholder i'm just gonna say that right away i really don't the underdark is everything i thought it'd be Okay, I should turn up the game a little bit. Sorry about that. Um, what to do? Yeah, I mean, I didn't really fully explore this area. Like, I had a, you know, I, I don't know what it is, but I, I've probably received the most snar snarky comments about Baldur's Gate than like any other series because I don't know people like when it comes to a puzzle or how you approach a situation, um, people think that the way they've done things is like oh i figured it out that must mean it's obvious i mean it may be obvious to you but it's not going to be obvious to everyone else you know and uh i'm i'm totally cool with hearing about how i might have gotten things wrong but certainly the way in which um you know i am informed will will dictate the the my response and my response may just be to ignore you forever <laughs> if that's what you want um I guess I'm cool with that, but yeah, a few people were telling me that, uh, like, it should be obvious that these defenses will kill me. Not obvious. Sorry, I, I, I'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna remain stubborn on this one. If you think it's obvious that I would die 
by moving through here, then um, I, I would say like just because a defense will kill monsters does not necessarily mean it should, you know, attack the people literally coming out. Like, what is the point of a defense? If you had like ballistas outside your 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 camp, should they kill like literally everything or just the things that are like outside? To me, it doesn't. It didn't seem obvious that they were going to just like immediately kill me. But I digress. We're gonna we're gonna go this way. Um, I'm a little wary of that direction in general. I'm wondering if there's, can we we can't go that way. We it says we can go that way. I'm not sure what the deal is right now. Oh, my! I uh, was not pressing the right button. Right, those mushrooms explode. Ouch. Oh, didn't actually hurt me. It just surprised me. Okay. Um, we can light that brazier. I don't know what that does. Seems to me that doesn't do anything. It might be that you have to... Did I pick up that journal? There is a journal up top. Did I just like completely ignore it? Camera work is really doing work. Should get started. It might be that there's a way to disable the defenses. And I will find that out from uh, the journal. I am really struggling with the camera right now. Like it is it is actually affecting my experience right now. Okay. Let's go back to the skeleton. They didn't have, a, they had a book, right? Tattered notes. I can't believe I completely ignored this. This place is dark, but the lady's light shines yet. Just as the drow had al almost broken through, Jarus rallied the last of the initiates and charged forth. For a moment, the cavern shone with Selune's own brilliance. I've, I'd have gladly sh uh, gone with them, wound or no, but Jarus uh, bade me stay and hold the gate until his return. I am to keep the records too. I'll save space to write of his victory. It's been days, hours since we collapsed the tunnel. There were supposed to return after the battle. I cannot dig it out on my own. My eyes won't get used to this darkness, but I can hear them stripping the dead. I'm sorry I haven't learned the death rites yet, but I will hold the gate, I promise. This final entry is barely visible, more faint scratches than legible writing. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, does not really tell us how to disable the gate. I'm kind of guessing that we have to light both braziers. Because it seems that they are, like, l deliberately out of the way. If we had, like... Can we jump down there? We can. It's going to do a bit of damage. I'm going to go ahead and put Tav out of the party, and I'm going to do a quick save. You might add, like, why why assume that, um, you know, the braziers have anything to do with this? Um, it's just purely based on the fact that they are out of the way that they can be lit that leads me to believe that they are um to do with a distant like you know a mechanism i'm gonna chance going up to it now nope okay okay do we have that key I have, I think I have the key. I don't think that, uh, I'm just going to have everyone Goodbye, jump down nice here now. Mode. Like at least I can get down here. It, it costs me a little bit of health. Why does it cost Karlak 14 health when it costs to have five? Hmm. Rocky That's crevice. This is probably not a good, you know, great plan. We'll do a short rest after this. Better get to it. Stop. Stop. 
God damn, I struggle so much with this game. I don't know what it is about this game that makes me like have uh, have just a bad time sometimes. Okay, okay. So, okay, we that's a that's a crevice to get through. Tav, why don't you come over here? This is, this is really silly. We're going to go ahead and do a short rest. That took the edge off. Wasting short rests left and right. We got some torches. Dragon egg mushroom. I'm probably going to be loading that save. I'm, I'm just going to, you know, preemptively state here that this is not this is not how we're getting through here. Ooh, scruffy vagabond clothes. We've got tons of nice um, alchemy things. What's uh, what's going on over here? Crushed body. Ooh. Okay. Now um, I'm taking great lengths not to go the way I went before because there's a oh, fungal spores refreshing uh oh a minotaur they've only got 84 health we could potentially take them or we could just try to avoid them I really just don't want to fight a beholder like I, I really insist that we don't fight a beholder uh oh what in the nine hells is that? They're coming. They're coming. Just gonna go ahead and shut the window so we don't hear that forever. Tell me I'm not imagining that voice. Still your mind to this unusual voice. This might be some devil's ploy. Don't listen to it. They're coming. Oh. What the? Oh, shit. Bullet. That thing could chomp me in two. Uh, I know what that is. Bullets are really high CR. I really don't think that this is where we should be going. Okay, so over there is where the beholder is. I want to do a little bit of exploring. Ooh, ooh, what is that? Viridian crystal. Recipe unlocked. Okay, what do we got here? Examine. Just a normal helmet. We have a not-so-normal sword. A slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. This feels holy. Consider what the appropriate ritual might be. I don't have a good role for this anymore because I'm no longer a cleric. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. Why don't we have Karlak? You can't recall anything this esoteric. There are too many rituals about swords to count. I like how smug she sounds when uh, she says that. Let's have uh, Shadowheart attempt a religion check. A slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. Yeah, that'll do it. This blade was a warrior's sacrifice to Elistray. Blood can only be honored with blood. Um, shed a few drops of blood onto the stone. The drow script inscribed on the blade flickers and glows. 
It rises from the stone, nice. hanging in the air in silent offering. Now don't get ex get excited, uh, Shadowheart. That is a hundred percent gonna go to someone else. We'll have a look at it though. We'll we'll consider it for you. Yeah, you're not even proficient in it. Falar Aluve Melody. Weapon enhancement plus one, performance plus one. It's a bardic thing, I guess. It's a versatile martial weapon. Um, let's have a look at it for Lazelle. I don't think I gave it to the right person, but we'll have a look. Yeah, we did. So she's proficient with it, but it's actually not as good as what she's currently using. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Let's have a look. It doesn't seem to. Long sword. Uh, I don't know. We'll use it for now. It seems to be a downgrade than just a basic greatsword. 2d6 plus 3 versus 1d10 plus 4. I mean, that technically makes it an, an upgrade because it means the minimum damage we can do is 5. Whereas with the greatsword, the minimum we can do is... Oh, is, is five. It's a, a completely lateral move. Um, class actions. Falar Aluve Mel Melody. I think that a bard, if a bard was using this, it would be better. So I don't know. Gain Wrath for two turns. What is, uh, are those medium? I wonder if those would be better on Tav. Yeah, I think they would be. Let's put those on Tav. Because he tends to do a lot more dashing around. And we'll put water sparks on uh, Lazelle. We haven't really put those to good use yet. I don't know what Wrath does. You have a plus one bonus to damage with melee weapons. I mean, it might come in handy. Circumstantial for sure, but... Swarming Toadstool. Definitely we will grab whatever we can. I do like the look of the Underdark. It's quite nice. Now, I, I am... Uh, just so you know, I, we, we might still actually bail on this because even though I got a cool sword, first of all, it's not great. It's fine. It's cool looking, but it doesn't actually matter. Known to cause confusion. Let's not get too close. Okay. Well, we got too close. We're gonna have to go through that. Seems like they have a cooldown. I don't like the fact that it's saving. I have a funny feeling we're in for a combat. Okay. Our, our... Um, <clears throat> so Shadowheart is having a problem. Befuddled. Get out of there. Okay. We have a bullet. They have 125 health. They do a lot of damage. Too much to bear. Thankfully, Shadowheart is no longer. Um... Can we do an animal friendship? Excuse me, what? Did you do a another attack while I'm like in my turn? Target must be a beast. It's not a beast. Uh, I guess I suppose we can't color spray it The sword hums in anticipation ready to burst into maddening shrieks or bolstering song uh, Interesting, I don't know what that's gonna do. Let's just try and do like a lacerate high defense. Oh This is gonna be brutal Can we do a rush attack? That's not bad We knocked it off balance 
we'll do um we have advantage we'll do a bash we not we dazed it as well this is fantastic let's use our action surge we'll lacerate it we missed that's fine we're definitely gonna rage Okay, um, we're gonna move right up to it and I want to do like a maybe a goading attack Yeah We goaded it fantastic Um guiding bull is only gonna be a 55% chance so I don't really want to do that. If we did a firebolt, it, we would have a 55% chance as well. Inflict wounds would be great, but not enough movement to get up there. Okay. Um, we'll do invoke duplicity. Let's move up a little bit. Invoke duplicity is a really nice move that um, gives all of our characters uh, advantage. We're also going to do a healing word on Tav. Take two, two. That also heals us a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Lazelle, back to Lazelle. Um, we're just going to smack him. Advantage. Nice. We're doing some pretty good damage to a bullet. Nothing will stand in my way. Uh, Tav, you are actually totally okay right now. You are not in uh, threat, which is astounding to me. I, I don't know how you're blessed. I don't know when you got blessed, but I'm totally cool with you getting blessed. We have advantage on them now, so I'm wondering if we could do a sneak attack. Let's do a sneak attack. Nice. Kind of want to do a um, uh, misty step, like kind of anywhere, but where we are. Like up here would be kind of cool, just so that we're out of harm's way and we can do some uh, range attacks from up here. Okay, uh, back to Karlak. Karlak, you goaded it. Let's do a meme. I don't know why you don't have um, advantage, if, I, if I'm being honest. We'll do a lacerate. Reckless attack, sure. That means he's going to get advantage, but, you know, he's dazed. We're actually totally blowing away this bullet. I'm, I'm amazed. Um, we'll do a guiding bolt. We actually hit it. Amazing. Okay, bullet. Ouch. Yeah. Bullet did a bite on Lazel. Tav, can you do a sneak attack from up here? You can. Target outside normal range. Okay, so they are out of normal range, unfortunately. So I, I put I maybe blinked too far away. That's fine. We missed. And we we also wasted the guiding bolt. Lazel is gonna do a second wind. And we're just going to do a normal attack. We have advantage. We have quite a lot of advantage. 10 damage. Karlak. Do a frenzied strike. Reckless attack. Why not? And we'll do um, a maiming strike. Maimed. They are almost dead. Could we have Shadowheart kill them? That'd be kind of nice. We did. We had Shadowheart put the final pin, final nail in the coffin. That was fantastic. You know what? I'm going to save. Don't waste a step. Why? Oh, we are going all kinds of places that I'm not a huge fan of. I want to check out what the bullet has. We are going to do... We don't have a short rest to spare, unfortunately. Let's We're going to have to walk through this stupid thing again. Uh, 
Blood Guzzler Garb. Grievous rep Retribution. When an enemy damages the wearer, the wearer gains wrath for one turn. Uncommon clothing. I mean, it's cool. I don't... It's not very good AC is the one problem. I wonder what the next move is. Let's do a Cure Wounds on Tav. That's really not going to do it. We're going to blow through quite a lot of our spells healing, but I think it'd be worth it to not do a long rest right now. I don't know. We don't have a short rest, so I actually don't, I'm not going to have a lot of our good stuff. You know, it's a little concerning. Look at all the cool ingredients that we're getting though. Bullywug Trumpet, Chasm Creeper. Definitely want to gather as much as possible. I can't waste any more time. Should mind my step. Oh, we're still hidden. I mean, it's not a bad idea, but now this area is gonna suck. Mask and torch stalks. Hell of a combination. Get confused by one, blown up by the other. Just wondering where we can, where we're supposed to go. Let's do sneak. Kind of want to go up here and avoid all of this. I wonder if I could have preemptively. Shadowheart is dead. Okay, let's let's just load. That's that's I'm not gonna stand for that. I, I'm not gonna use a, a scroll on on Shadow Art. I feel like we could preemptively explode the uh the mushrooms. We'll see. Okay, um Need to keep going. We're gonna have to pick up all this stuff again. Oh let's not do that with uh Lazel. Should have worn better boots, huh? Feel kind of attacked, honestly. and torch stalks. Great. Get confused by one, blown up by the other. Okay, I think that that's what we want to do. Should have just done that in the first place. Nice. Yeah, you can do... Well, okay. Um, There is a reason why we don't want to do that. Oh, uh, we got a Dwager. We don't want to do that because there's probably a combat around the corner and then we could have used that to our own advantage. Don't mind if I do. Ooh. Okay, we've got that Minotaur. We definitely want to fight them on our own terms. Heavy chest, huh? Gold, some potion of glorious vaulting. Wouldn't mind having some uh, potions of feather falling. I feel like that would come in handy. I know we're like kind of going around in circles right now. Broken bones. Must have fallen. Oh, we have more than one minotaur. I don't think there'll be any more trouble between Lazelle and I if you will. Did not mean to do this. We can all sleep easier now. Well, apart from all the rest. Uh, I'll be keeping an eye on both of you. I don't want a, f uh, a fight happening again. Relax. We'll kiss and make up on our own time. Someone prodding at a newly opened wound doesn't help matters. Uh, 
there being more than one minotaur is kind of a problem I don't think I want to fight more than one at once I am wondering can't misty step I wonder if we can like oh they can just walk up there I was one wondering if, if I could get up top here if maybe I could like give myself a height advantage we've got some kind of settlement over there we can check that out without having to mess with minotaurs so far this is going well as long as you don't um prod the minotaur oh god this isn't gonna be good no i didn't mean to do that okay well we're in it now I'm gonna dash away and I'm gonna try and figure out uh, a way of turning the tides of, of this combat. Let's see what the Minotaur does. Brutal leap, huh? Wow, he just gets to do that, huh? Good lord. Well, we're gonna frenzy. Did he, he did take some damage from that at the very least piercing shot possibly inflict with gaping wounds um let's just do a normal attack uh we don't have invoke duplicity do we have anything we could do pass without trace tell you what let's do that or no you know what let's do a bless I know that's going to use up our only spell, but I think it's worth it. Fury, I am death. Did I not do it? Did I just completely end the turn prematurely? I did, didn't I? God damn it. Okay. We got a crit hit, though. Now, this other Minotaur I'm a little worried about. Oh, yeah, he's going to Brutal Leap as well. Well, we have advantage, so we can do some sneak attacks at the very least. Tell you what, I'd like to do some poison. We definitely have some, right? Um, let's see if we have some poison. I don't think we do, actually. Oh, there's some basic poison. It'd be nice to, if we had something a bit... Nastier drow poison. There we go. Targets must succeed a constitution saving throw or become poisoned and fall asleep. There we go. Coat weapon. And we're going to do a sneak attack on that minotaur. There. Stricken with drow poison. Perfect. We'll go up here and we should be out of sight when they actually get up So they're stricken with drow poison. That's gonna give shadow heart a pretty good advantage now uh, I'm actually not gonna do the bless now because like I actually feel like we've got a very we've got very good odds in this combat Critical miss that sucks Um, We don't have to heal anyone just yet Okay, let's do a frenzied strike smack and then we're gonna do a main hand attack i the fact that he got to get up for free kind of sucks they're dead so that's one down uh yeah we we are actually gonna take the ter critical hit only five damage how does that work? Okay, Minotaur is getting up. He's going to get to make an, an attack, probably. Well, look at that crazy weapon he's got. Wow, he's going to take two attacks of opportunity, so he can do what exactly? He's a barbarian Minotaur. You know, eat it, dude. He saved against it. 
Shoot. Softer little whisper. We still we're gonna take this guy out. No problem. I'm surprised we didn't level off that. We're so close. One more combat like that and we're golden. What have you got? You got a Malachite. Add to wares. What have you got? Amulet of the Unworthy. Grants resistance to slashing damage. Grants vulnerability to bludgeoning damage. Interesting. Should get some rest. I need to keep sharp. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, and it's a good time to end the episode. So why don't we go ahead and do a long rest? See if we've got... Uh, no? What's happening? Don't waste a step. Oh, Helson's here. Mind. Oak Father's blessings to you. How do you know my, uh, how much do you know about the parasite, the shadow curse you spoke of? Surely it can't be that bad. It's had the whole region around Moonrise Towers in a chokehold of darkness and despair for years now. Okay, Those that's pretty bad. Those who are shadow cursed. If you don't die at their hands, then you become one of them. We have to get to Moonrise. But the less time we spend in its blighted surrounds, the better. Okay. Um, what's, what about the secret stronghold in the Underdark? You must know more. Precious little. But I'm quite certain it can still be found. Well, I think I'm like outside the doorsteps. All right. How are you faring out here in the, at the camp? <laughs> Wonderfully. If I'm honest, the grove was too comfortable for my tastes. I felt removed from nature. I'll miss my books. But I can find all the wisdom they contain out here firsthand. Nice. If there's anything I can do to make you less comfortable, let me know. <laughs> I'm sure something will come to me, given time. I like Halzen. He's he's uh, he's a uh, cool character. All right, let's do a rest, and I'm going to end the episode. I'm just going to make sure that we don't get any uh, we don't have any story beats while we rest. All right, we're good. Uh, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.